healthy for you, healthier for the environment, and can taste amazing if you know how to cook them. Yep, that's me, Allie Moore, telling people once again why they should eat bugs. I host events like bug and wine pairings, bug cooking classes, or even bug dinners to make people a little bit more comfortable with something they probably never thought they would do, eating bugs. My favorite moment is that light bulb moment when somebody bites into their first cricket and their eyes light up. They realize that it's not this Timon and Pumbaa moment where it's like slimy yet satisfying with guts everywhere, but instead the crickets or mealworms or whatever taste quite familiar, often like nuts or seeds or something else. Not bad. <laughs> Just a salty snack. Kind of tastes like a raisin actually. It's like a really salty sunflower seed. Okay, no. that was great. Oh, it's actually good. Okay, it's not so bad. Mm. No, it's good. I like it. I feel like I'm tasting the future. That's surprising to a lot because bugs are traditionally thought of as bearers of pestilence and disease and sometimes star in scary movies. They say there's a thin line between love and hate because they're both sides of the metaphorical passion coin. And I think that fear and anxiety have a similar relationship with curiosity, where we often fear the unknown or the unfamiliar. But if we replace that anxious feeling with a sense of curiosity and this drive to explore, it can be really powerful. Something I've noticed is people think edibility is an objective reality when in fact it's super subjective. What we consider edible or inedible depends on so many factors, like how you were raised, your culture, your family, your friends, your socioeconomic status, maybe even allergies and intolerances. But because we take edibility as an objective reality, we often say this is edible, that is not edible. Some people, myself included, eat orange peels, and you might think that's gross, but orange peels actually contain the most nutrients in the fruit. In a broader example, let's look at sushi. Back in the 1960s, it was actually considered barbaric to eat raw fish. Today, it's not only accepted, but trendy. A big reason for this is one chef who disguised the raw fish with rice, avocado, and imitation crab meat to make it much more acceptable. We're hoping that bugs can take a similar path. For years, I've been warning you people that the apocalypse is imminent. Mm. Even if you're lucky enough to survive the initial event, chances are you'll starve to death in the aftermath. But the good news is there was at least one person who answered my call. Allie Please. is an edible bug enthusiast. What's the official term? Entomophagist. So that might be a little dramatic, but it would still be nice if we ate bugs because we wanted to instead of because we had to. And it doesn't hurt that they're sustainable, nutritious, and can taste great if you know how to cook them. Instead of asking why eat bugs, we should be asking why not? But first, let's define entomophagy. It's the fancy word for eating insects. Bugs are easier on the environment than traditional protein sources, packed with nutrition and can taste great. They're not the only solution to sustainably feed our growing population, but they are the most provocative. And they open a dialogue about how what we eat impacts our bodies and the environment. There's a reason why 2 billion people have been eating bugs for thousands of years. So we might have a ways to go before Western societies adopt bugs as part of their cuisine, but I think the answer is pretty simple. It's education. Made a new friend. And now it's time for her to go because she's gonna clap onto my skin. One, two, three, yeah. <laughs> How's the cricket? <laughs> the trying worms. Oh. So, what do you think? Protein bars, chocolate? Protein bars, it's like a protein bar. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you just had the protein bar, what do you think? I don't want to read it. Really delicious. Really delicious? I think it's the best protein bar. Yeah. Thank you guys. Okay, so have you guys ever eaten insects before? What?
what, what inspired you to try these bugs? Uh, never eaten insects before, inspired because they're free.